George Washington. Let's go. Let's start a f***ing revolution. This. Start a revolution. More like you ruined the freaking American Revolution. All right. Hi, y'all. It me, your best pal, Doctor Do from the YouTube channel Doctor Do. Today, movie review I'm going to do is America, the motion picture. More like the worst motion picture ever because this movie is not funny, not accurate, not a single good scene of this movie. Really. This movie take us the story of George Washington who led an American Revolution against the British. Not like the American Revolution about history, but a different history timeline. We're looking at a different universe where all the presidents, all the history of America, everything that happened there, crumbling up and make it into a one universal movie. Are you not? Are you freaking kidding me? This movie is not that great. I'm telling you, all right. I watched the entire freaking movie about it. All right. This movie came out July third, two thousand two thousand twenty one, on Netflix. It on Netflix. You can see the end. That Netflix. All right. This movie it did not do well with viewers and critics. All right. Let me tell you why. All right. The story tells us about the about. The founding father who wanted to declare independence from Britain and stuff. But, however, they were interrupted by the freaking Benedict Arnold. Yeah, that's right, Benedict Arnold, the guy who betrayed America to the, and joined the British Army in the American Revolution and stuff. Yeah, that Benedict Arnold. But not the Benedict Arnold that we know. Turned out this, he became a main antagonist, the bad guy of the movie and stuff. This, you know, they didn't tell the reason why Benedict Arnold betrayed them and stuff. All we know is that he wanted to betray anyone wherever he wants, basically. So anyway, after the Benedict Arnold and the British soldier had killed the founding father, including with Benjamin Franklin and the other people that we might know of. Why? Why on earth would create this? But they were created by the people who created Archer, basically. The cats uh, with George Washington and stuff. But he had honorable people who joined his group, like Sam Adams. And the offensive other character that I was very going to tell you all about it. The reason why George Washington launched a, a revolution against the British is because Ben the Honor killed his best friend, Abraham Lincoln, who is supposed to be alive with George Washington in the freaking movie. They're a hundred years apart, alright? Learn your history, you stupid idiot for Archer. Anyways, well, they went to the movie theater where, um, the same theater that killed, killed Abraham Lincoln, with, instead of John with Boo, it was Bandit Arnold who killed freaking Abraham Lincoln. You know how? He turned out that Bandit Arnold is a freaking werewolf. How do you become a werewolf? Why do you betray George Washington and Benedict Arnold? Does he have no reason at all? After that, George Washington wanted his revenge against him and stuff. And then, saw a revolution and created the group. group. He went, he met Sam Adam, who is a frat guy, a party person from college. And then, we got Paul with fear, who made him a retard, who loved horses more than human itself. You gotta be kidding me. Why are you making... Paul was here a retard. He's the one who sent a message to America that the British are coming. Come on! Are you making fun of him? Are you making fun of retards, people? That's not that great. That offensive to every person who had MR. Okay? So, anyway. Another person named Geronimo. Yeah, that's right. They called the name America Geronimo. You gotta be kidding me. That's more offensive that i never seen. And then, another... Group person name, we all know who he is, who created the light ball. Tommy Edison. But, not the Tommy Edison we know, the old man and stuff, who... It turned out they made Tommy Edison a girl and an Asian. They tricked his gender and his race. Why would you do that to Thomas Edison? The man who would have 
who created the light. Father. If it wasn't for him, we would not have light in our houses like this. Anyways, this movie, and then all, and then, why well, they form a group alongside the other dude and stuff? They launched their fight against Bandit Arnold and the bridge, who turned out that they want to turn all Americans into a freaking bridge by making them drink tea. You gotta be kidding me, man. Why you want to turn every single American to a bridge? Not like. Not like the in the civilian, but turned to the West Coast. I'm afraid, like that. And then we saw the Titanic in that year stuff with steamboats and stuff. Come on, that's not history, man. That too much. Okay. Anyways, like I was saying, right? When they found out that who else helping Benny the Arnold, not King George the Third, not him. It was King James of England. Why would they put King James instead of King George? You really are. I don't know who did the writing and stuff, but he's an idiot. An idiot person who doesn't know the history of America, alright? And maybe you need to go back to fourth grade to learn America, alright? Yeah, that's right. I talked to the writer. Whoever done the movie is an idiot, alright? I don't care. So, anyway. When they found out about it, and so they had to go back and try to form a big, huge army and stuff. But it turned out when Benedict Arnold and King James are playing their um, transformation on every American in the country, including the other states like Texas, Louisiana, California, Florida, every state that like control the whole entire continent. With it in history, all three of, that's the whole entire country. Is is split by Spain, France, and, Mer and Britain. Not all under British rule. After that, Benny the Honor killed kill George. He killed King George. I mean, King James. Betraying the British king. So much betrayal, man. I know why they did make him like a, a most addicted person, Benny Arnold, but Benny the Honor made, they made him into a a full-scale traitor. I seen many people calling each other Benedict Arnold in real life. Like, if you betray someone, you'll call Benedict Arnold. You see what I mean? They betray King George. I mean, King James. Really? And then we saw the Big Bang became as a dad, and then he lost his attack, but he kidnapped George Washington White, not the one in the history book, but turned out his wife in the freaking movie is the Statue of Liberty. Not like the, not the giant virgin, but the short virgin. She was the wife of George Washington. You gotta be kidding me! <sighs> Anyways. After that, she turned, they turned the bridge, like, freaking, like, Darth Vader version. Alright? And then they start to rally every person in America against the bridge, like, Native American, Black people, Latinos, every single person. They all fight against the wrath of the British Empire, beat them up, took down their ships that in the sky and stuff. When they turn about to turn every single person in the bridge, it turned out if those teas are not tea, they're beer. It's the beer that Samuel put in turned everybody back to Americans. Jesus. I don't know how this movie is so terrible. This movie is so terrible, I cannot stand it. After that, Benedict Arnold and George Washington face off. And then George Washington had a silver bullet, shot Benedict Arnold, kill him. The war is over. They turn make America America into a country now. In the end, everybody's already created America. Are they going to have civil Native American rights? African American rights? Uh, gay rights? And then everybody started to do a riot at the end. I'm like, oh, this is bad. George Washington said. This movie! Oh my god, this shit is so terrible. The movie is so got low reviews for it. People criticize this movie for being the worst, one of the worst animation of its time right now. I hate this movie. I don't know who, I don't know why they would do such a thing to this movie. Probably because of anti-American crap now. We are all seeing, okay? 
<sighs> my my rating for this movie is freaking two and a ten, two out of ten on for America the worst motion picture movie ever. They're not watching y'all. They're not ever watching with your parents. They will be like, what kind of history movie is this? Um, history of America. <laughs> okay. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. I hope you guys love this channel, love this video. We think of it and stuff. Please subscribe to the channel, hit notification, put a comment down below. I see you guys next time. My next video is going to be the review for this. I'm going to do a review on 2021. I will tell you everything about this stupid year. Alright, it got worse. So, till then, Dr. Dude out, y'all.